So I got to fly the drone for the first time on Sunday. Uh, it probably wasn't the greatest day to be flying because it was super windy. I tried to set up a tripod to actually film uh, the drone taking off and also the drone flying in the air, but it was so windy that the wind actually blew down the camera on the tripod, uh, which was pretty scary because the tripod and the camera, especially the camera, directly hit the asphalt um, and it made a pretty crazy sound when it fell down, but yeah, the camera is actually still working, so uh, it was pretty lucky. Um, we went to the local park to actually fly the drone, um, and I brought my two kids, which probably wasn't the best of ideas, um, because the little one Felix started crying after about five minutes or so into my flight time, um, and I didn't get a real good chance to actually play with the drone, and it probably would have been best if I actually you know, read up a little bit more on how to actually use the functions of the drone um, as well as, you know, watch the little bit more like video tutorials online uh, because, you know, when I first uh, started playing with it, I really didn't know what to do on the controllers. Um, so my five minutes of playtime on Sunday pretty much consisted of me going up and down and up and down and up and down. So nothing too exciting. Um, then on to Monday, didn't get a chance to fly it um, because I had to go to my in-laws house so got back pretty late so definitely no chance in, in me you know, flying the drone at night um, because I don't think so that's a good idea but you know today I did get to fly it uh, for about I think 15-20 minutes so that was pretty great um, the battery pretty much ran out, which is why I came back. Um, I did have extra battery uh, on hand, but you know it was close to dinner time, so I thought you know it's probably best that I came back home and had dinner with the wife and kids. Um, yeah, how did I find the flying? Um, it was actually pretty scary, you know. When I flew in beginner mode, um, it actually restricted me from going, I think, higher than thirty meters, and you know I think there was a certain radius. Um, so after a while playing in beginner mode, um, you know, I had enough of beginner mode, so I turned it off and I want to try the other features uh, such as, you know, tap to fly, um, active track and tripod mode. So when I first flew the drone um, outside of the beginner mode, uh, it was pretty scary because I flew up, uh, I would say probably about 40 or so meters and, you know, just watching the drone go up so high, you know, it, it really gets the heart beating because you know, I'm, it, it kind of looks like $1,700 pretty much, you know, flying away because um, I really didn't know if it's going to come back or not or, you know, if it's going to drop straight down and just, you know, get kaput. Um, but yeah, it worked out alright, but it was a little bit scary. And also when I was flying it up high, um, the birds start circling it and stuff. So I was kind of also scared that the birds were going to like hit the propeller and then pretty much throw my um, drone spiraling down and then pretty much crashing and then just pretty much killing the drone um, so that was pretty scary to be honest um, but you know after a while flying it you know you know the heart pretty much palpitated you know a little bit less each minute that goes by um, so yeah after a while it wasn't too bad so another scary first experience was um, you know when I was using the active track mode I had to walk further down uh, so I can test that the drone is actually following me around and because I was actually away from the original home spot when I actually hit the return to home on the controller the drone actually flew away uh, what it was actually doing was that it was flying back to the original spot um, but it was quite scary because it, it literally looked like the drone was controlling itself and actually just flying and going haywire at a different direction uh, especially because it actually ascends up as well uh, when it's actually trying to land when it ascends up it's just trying to clear any obstacles in the way um, and by ascending upwards uh, that's the best chance of actually avoiding any obstacles in between um, and then landing from way up top. It's actually quite awkward flying in public mainly because you do get a lot of stares I'm not sure they're staring at me because you know they've got a genuine interest in what I'm doing and the drone itself or if they're staring at me judging me thinking you know what's this guy doing in the middle of the field with his little backpack on his short shorts and you know playing with his little drone and giggling 
but hopefully after flying enough, uh, I'll get the confidence required to be able to fly wherever and whenever I want without caring what others think. Because in my opinion, that's the only way you're going to be able to get the greatest drone shots. So I shot two footages uh, with the drone. Uh, one was using the active track mode, which I got the drone to follow me around, uh, which is something that kind of was a selling point for me on this drone, uh, mainly because I wanted it to use it overseas uh, so the camera or the drone can follow me and my family around and get awesome shots of us walking. And then the second footage is just pretty much um, I shot the drone up probably past 50 meters and just did a 360 spin around with the drone just to get a footage of uh, the residential areas around the park. Well, I'm going to play it now for you guys, so enjoy. But you know I never 